Hi my friends, you know by now that I love to travel, I love to have fun and I'm not afraid of danger. You may remember snow monkeys in Japan or crocodiles in Australia, it was all dangerous and all fun. But I wanted to step up my game, I was looking for something more dangerous. So I accepted invite of Mr. Putin to Moscow. What? That's completely crazy. It is crazy, but I have some questions for him from my friends and also I had a message for him from Albert Redford or not. What? That's <laughs> I know, I know, it's unusual. You need to, I'm telling you, it's worthwhile to wait to the end so you hear this message. However, let me tell you why I wanted to interview him. You may have seen Arnold's message to Mr. Putin. And to President Putin I say, you started this war, you're leading this war, you can stop this war. And I'm a huge fan of Arnold and his message was excellent. It was his English with Russian subtitles. There was no mistake. However, it was one-way message to him. So I was hoping with a dialogue, with back and forth questions, we can achieve more, we can learn more. I see. But how did you get to Moscow? Uh, another good question, uh, Pink Lady. It's not so easy to get to Moscow these days, right? It's just a trip itself. It's dangerous. You need actually even approval. So first I decided to fly to Washington DC again and visit CIA headquarters there in Virginia just just north of uh, Washington DC. Really? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, you visited CIA. I visited famous CIA. Wow. What did they tell you, old talk? Well, <laughs> I wanted to ask him what they recommend, if it is safe and if they are okay for me going, right? I didn't want to cause any international troubles. So they said, Osaks, you can go, but remember this, you are on your own. We cannot protect you in Moscow. There is simply no chance. Mm, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I decided to go anyway. So I had a simple seven questions for Mr. Putin so I wanted to ask them and get out of there so and I knew the route approximately so first I flew from Washington I flew to Reykjavik which is capital of Iceland this is right there I was there before so I knew how to get there and from Iceland I flew to Moscow Moscow is right here and the idea was to obviously not to fly over Ukraine not even close so that was my reason for this type of trip so I arrived Reykjavik, short connection after I arrived in Moscow and in Moscow they were already waiting for me. They were nicely dressed in these green uniforms. Really? Yeah, yeah, and they drove me in not so comfortable green car from airport to Kremlin. So I arrived in Kremlin and Mr. Putin is already waiting for me. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, believe it or not, he was sitting at this very long table and said to me the following. I have to read it for you because I need to be precise. Mm -hmm. So he says, Nice to meet you, Tavarish Old Sachs. But I will be quick because I have world to change. Pani mm. What does it mean, Tavarish? Tavarish is something, comrade, what? I guess it's a friend. I see. In, in Russian. I see. So, well, I said, no problem, Mr. Putin. Thank you for your time. And I will get right away to my questions. Okay. Question number one I am asking. I represent also many young gamers. So I wonder, Mr. Putin, which game you like? Mr. Putin was saying, Nie nravica, I like only two games, chess and Tetris, for two reasons. Russians are good in chess and Tetris was invented by a Russian software engineer. I hope you are doing story on the Tetris in your old game series, old sucks. And I said, definitely, Mr. Putin, I will have story on Tetris and Russian origins of this game in my upcoming episode. Hmm. That was the question one. Do you want me to continue, Pink Lady? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. So, question number two. They will get more interesting, I hope. What do you think about YouTube, Mr. Putin? He says, I like YouTube. I like the color of their logo, but we'll rename it to Tube. And they need to show more of real me. Just look at this strong man I am. Do you see my muscles? The only problem is nobody wants to see you on YouTube, <laughs> Mr. Putin. <laughs> well, that's probably true. So let me go, let me get right away to question number three. I am asking, who is your favorite YouTuber? Besides me, of course. Putin says, I like Nastya. She has 
100 million subscribers. Huh. Who's this Nastya anyway? Putin continued, well, I like her because she's from Russia and I like to sing her children's songs. But I really hate she moved to Florida. I plan to fix it. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Not sure about his plans. I wonder how is he gonna fix it. Not sure. I'll ask him next time. Question number four, which I prepared. All students in US and around the world know that Russia is the biggest country. How does it make you feel that to be a leader of such a big country, you are almost double the size of the second one, which is Canada? Putin replied. All sucks. I don't feel good. It's not enough. I want more. Well, why would you want more land? I ask him. He says, well, It's not yet difficult. It's simple, old sacks. I want with my yard go everywhere. I want. Especially I want warmer, warmer climate and waters. And also the world needs more discipline. Look everywhere. Politicians arguing and wasting time. They need leaders that can make more quick decisions. They don't need democracy. They need more of Putinology. We are ocean. We are very good in controlling troubling individuals and crowds. No, that's ridiculous. We are no longer in medieval times, Mr. Putin. Haven't you noticed? Yeah, plus, I tell you, Putinology, that must be a new word. Yeah, here. what Anyhow, the heck is Putinology anyway? It's getting more interesting here. I go into question number five. So, how do you see the world order, Mr. Putin? Putin says. It's very simple, old sucks. After Ukraine, we go to Poland. Slovakia and all other little countries we don't care about. Just look at this map. It's very simple. Is he out of his mind? Seriously? Yeah, he looks out of his mind. Uh, it's hard to read his answers, Pink Lady, I tell you. I'll switch to Hollywood topics, to movies. Hopefully this will be less controversial. So my next question, question number six. So Mr. Putin, which movies do you like? Well. Old Sacks, I tell you right away which three movies I would ban immediately. Number one, Rambo movies, because he shoots at Russians, look at that. Number two, The Hunt for Krasny or Red October, because it can never happen. No one wants to ever escape from Russia. We all love Russia. Number three, the born supremacy. Look at my Damon. I don't like car chases at the streets of Moscow. We don't have any car chases here. It's American thing. Interesting. So that was a question six. I go to the final question. So the drums. Trumps. After your invasion of Ukraine, many Western companies left Russia. For example, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Levi's. Also Japanese companies like Sony, Nintendo suspending selling of their games. Apple, Samsung stopped selling phones. Visa, Mastercard, PayPal, everybody out. Even car manufacturers left. So Mr. Putin, do you miss any of these companies or products? Mr. Putin says. Old sucks. We don't care about them. We don't care at all. We are a strong Russian. As long as we have enough tanks, we'll be fine. Yeah, right. But since you ask, and since you are here, I have to admit I'm missing two companies. Ajin. First, this nice, you know I have five dogs and I even bring them to the interviews with some of the politicians. Look at that. But Purina sells very good fine food to my dogs and they stop selling their food here in Russia. That's not good. I miss it. Mm -hmm. But second, ya ochin dublu, I like to ride on a horse like a cowboy from Texas. I want to be like Robert Redford or Paul Newman, but I need to have a good horse saddle. I need to sit on something, but this Texas company stopped delivering them to me. I want to ride my horse more and more. 
Without shirt, of course. And I say to Mr. Putin, Mr. Putin, this is interesting you say this because Rubber Redford has a message for you and I play it for you. Look at this. Yeah. Until me and Harvey get the rules straightened out. Rules? In a knife fight? No rules! <laughs> so my friends, what is the lesson from today? Arnold? Yes. Robert? Yes. Putin? No. And we don't do Putin all day. Hasta vista Putin. Exactly. Thank you for watching.